Hi friends, let's solve uh, one more problem on uh, signal uh, time shifting and uh, time scaling properties. So here it is uh, given uh, the definition of a signal uh, between various times actually uh, in previous problems we are seeing a diagram or a figure for uh, the signal x of t but here a definition for the signal is given so that is x of t so is a 0 for t less than minus 3 so let's uh, take a time axis here so this is a t let's plot first what is x of t so this is a part a so x of t is t plus 3 at between minus 3 less than t less than 0 so it is a positive slope and starting at minus 3 so at t is equals to 0 the value of x of t is a 3 so let's uh, take this is a 3 and it is a 3 for 0 less than t less than 3 so it is a constant value of 3 for up to t is equal to 3 and again it is a 6 minus t between 3 less than t less than 6 so obviously at uh, t is equal to 3 the signal value is uh, 6 minus 3 is a 3 so which is already at there and uh, at t is equal to 6 the signal is a 0 again so this is the x of t so now here it is asking uh, to draw various uh, time scaled and time shifted versions of the given signal so here it is y of t is equal to x of 40 this is a very uh, simple so x of 40 is nothing but it is a time compressed version of the given signal by a factor of 4 so the signal will not change so here it is so this is minus 3 over 4 so this is a 6 over 4 so this is 0 and this is a 3 over 4 and part c here it is asking y of t is x of t over 3 so this is a expanded version of the given signal so simply the signal uh, will not change the shape will not change so here it is a signal so here it is a time axis uh, t so this is x of t over 3 so this is a 0 and this is minus 9 and this is a plus 9 and this is the 18 so this is the and the amplitude values is a constant that is a 3 because we are not uh, performing any operations on amplitude of the signal and now part d here it is asking x of t minus 4 so it is a right shifted version of the signal right shifted version by 4 units so simply shift the signal towards the right side so here it is uh, plus 1 and this is the 10 and this is the 7 this is the so now the part uh, d is completed and now the part let's go for uh, e so here it is asking y of t is x of 40 
minus 4 so now let's draw a time axis that is a 40 minus 4 so the signal are starting the signal x of t starting at actually t is equal to minus 3 so let's equate 40 minus 4 is equal to minus 3 then this will give you 40 is equal to plus 1 and t is equal to 1 over 4 and 40 minus 4 is equal to 0 so then t is equal to 1 and 40 minus 4 is equal to 3 so simply we are equating the uh, time coordinates corresponding time coordinates of x of t to 40 minus 4 so then this is a uh, t is 7 over 4 and 40 minus 4 is a uh, 6 so here it is a uh, t is equal to 10 over 4 so the signal starts at t is equal to 1 over 4 and ends at 10 over 4 so let's plot the signal simply so this is the signal and this is the uh, vertical axis that is uh, at t is equal to 0 and here it is 1 over 4 and here it is uh, 1 and here it is 7 over 4 and here it is 10 over 4 so this is the required um, signal that is x of 40 minus 4 so the final part i think uh, that is uh, uh, x of t minus 4 over 3 so let's take y of t so this is the part e y of t is x of t minus 4 over 3 i think i'm not wrong uh, t minus 4 over 3 so here also let's make uh, a time axis that is uh, 4 t minus 4 over 3 so let's equate uh, this to the corresponding time coordinates of x of t which is already given so t minus 4 over 3 is equal to minus 3 then this is t is equal to 4 minus 9 so that is 5 minus 5 so t minus 4 over 3 is 0 when uh, t is equal to 4 and t minus 4 over 3 is equal to 3 so when t is equal to 13 and t minus 4 over 3 is 6 when t is equal to 22 so the signal simply looks like uh, this So here uh, it is a t is equal to minus 5 and here it is a t is equal to plus 4 and here t is equal to 13 and uh, at the end t is equal to 22 so there will be somewhere around here the t is equal to 0 so this is the uh, required uh, signal y of t so here for every signal the amplitude is constant that is 3 only because we are not doing any amplitude related operations here so amplitude is constant that is 3 only in each and every signal operation still now we have performed so that's it so in this way we can solve um, any problem related to signal time scaling and time shifting thank you for watching please subscribe my channel